Good morning everybody. Welcome again back to my channel. So glad you've tuned in once again. Hopefully you've watched the last couple videos in my series. If you haven't, we'll link them down in the comments below. But today we are going to head toward Green Bay. As we're going to get a tour of Lambeau Field. We'll bring you some college basketball action as we'll get a chance to see the Northern Kentucky women. And some whatever other cool things I might find while I'm in Green Bay, Wisconsin as the tour continues. Turns out I didn't even need this toboggan today. It was actually pretty warm. Uh, but it's starting to get a little chilly here and the wind's starting to pick up. So let's head back to the car and head on north to Green Bay. Morning everybody, it is game day for the Northern Kentucky women after making the trip up here to Wisconsin. They have arrived in Green Bay and they will take on the Phoenix tonight. It's 7 o'clock central tip off, 8 o'clock eastern time. We'll have some stuff on that as the day goes on, but I'm going to start with the trip to the frozen tundra, which isn't so frozen yet, although it's going to feel like it today because it's pretty cold outside. We're headed to Lambeau Field for a tour, I'm super excited for this. We'll see how it goes. I don't have my toboggan in my hand to throw up the screen. So it just has to have a normal transition and to Lambeau Field. How fitting is that? The weather's been so nice and today we head to the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field and yes, it is snow flurrying a little bit. Just to add to the atmosphere. Should be fun, can't wait. Should be a blast. Let's go. Person over here has like cardboard cutouts, probably not cardboard cutouts, or probably wood cutouts in their lawn. Get a good look at it as we turn. That is crazy stuff. So unfortunately, but not surprisingly, they wouldn't let you shoot videos on the tour. They did allow you to shoot photos, so I made sure to get photos of everything I could. The tour starts you on the roof of Lambeau Field where you have an amazing view of both the stadium and the surrounding area. It really takes your breath away, especially when it's 32 degrees out with a 30 mile an hour wind. The two tour guides were outstanding. One of the two tour guides was in attendance at the famous Ice Bowl in 1967. We continue to make our way down through the different levels, including the press box, and the luxury suites, and eventually through the visitor's locker room and out the same tunnel the Packers use on Sundays to take the field at Lambeau. Just being down on the field, even though we were not allowed on the grass, was really cool. We got an up-close look at the giant heat lamps that keep the grass growing, even in the wintertime. To just look around at the names of all the Packer greats, it's just really amazing. It really was a surreal experience and one I think any football fan would appreciate. After the tour completed, I went into the Packers Hall of Fame and Museum, which is a must for anyone visiting the frozen tundra. It takes you through the history of the Packers, which really mirrors the history of the National Football League.
just finished the Lambeau Field Tour. It is amazing. Uh, if you're a football fan of any kind, doesn't matter what team you root for, you definitely need to make a point to come up and see that. At some point, we got a lot of great photos from the tour. Uh, it's just a really cool place in the history of the Green Bay Packers and, and the NFL itself uh, kind of intertwined here. So definitely highly recommend it. I think every football fan owes it at some point to go to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton and also come up here to Green Bay. Now it's time to get some lunch. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Green Bay, Wisconsin. It is the Horizon League opener tonight between the Northern Kentucky Norse and the Green Bay Phoenix. Matt Sexton with you, not alongside Rich Hoyt as normal, but just by myself here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And this will be an opportunity to bring you some Norse notes, Norse notebook, if you will, for tonight's contest. Halftime in Green Bay, Northern Kentucky with one of its best halves of basketball of the season, lead by a score of 30 to 22. Another great half of basketball by Lindsey Duvall, who continues to produce 15 points in the first half on five of 10 shooting, including three of six from three point range. Up, folks, Matt Sexton here back in the hotel room after an impressive victory for Northern Kentucky. Historic victory. They defeated Green Bay tonight 61 52 in the Crest Event Center. First win Northern Kentucky's had against Green Bay on the road. They did it with defense. I'm going to wrap things up for the evening with some Taco Bell to celebrate. And not only did I get one Baja Blast, which is what I ordered, but for some reason they gave me a second one. And these people in this hotel probably think I'm crazy carrying two of these in here. Uh, so if I have to do some laps around the parking lot tonight to burn off all that caffeine, well, I might just do that. It's freezing out there, so hopefully it won't take very long. Definitely don't want to trip on all this stuff. Be a bad end. Or get too close to these rocks. Because, uh, yeah. A quick plug to this place before I take off of the Wild Tomato Wood Fire Pizza and Grill. 